Hi, welcome to WS Real Talk. Rose McInerney here. This is day 20 of 30 movies in 30 days. It is Saturday night, so things are hopping. I'm gonna do uh, two reviews tonight, but this is a single one and then I'll double up for tomorrow. So tonight is a hot night. What you can see behind me is the red carpet area where um, stars roll out, they come out, and there's great fanfare that happens. A lot of cheering, so you may see a little bit of noise. Um, the city is really, really busy tonight. There's all kinds of people out on the streets. L'Oreal's got a booth, Peloton, all kinds of freebie food and things to do here. Um, so of course when I pan the camera, it doesn't look as busy, but it's pretty cool. So here's the movie for today. Number 20 for today is Knives Out. Um, all right, recap, Knives Out. It is star studded. I'm not gonna get all the stars included in this one, but just to give you a little taste, it's Ryan Johnson that's done this. He's got a new production company. You'll know him from Looper and you'll also know him from uh, one of the Star Wars features. He's, he's um, a brilliant writer. So he's writer director tonight and the star studded cast includes, I think about 12 super well-known names, including the Canadian iconic Christopher Plummer, We've got um, Tony Collette. Um, oh God, it's just uh, power pack. Chris Evans is fantastic in this. There's a newcomer, Anna, I'm not gonna remember her last name, um, but a lineup of Don Johnson. Um, God, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, it's just, it's, um, oh God, what's his name? Um, so, 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 so good. Um, anyway, it's, it's power pack. Look it up, um, Knives Out. Um, that's the recap, or that's the list of stars. And the recap is, it's basically a whodunit. It's kind of a combination of Alfred Hitchcock meets um, um, Agatha Christie. Um, so it's done in a very farcical, funny way. So you're trying to solve the mystery of this all the way through. So the scene opener, and you can read it, um, famous writer played by Christopher Plummer. Um, Thornby and Thornby is uh, found murdered the day after a family party is turned 85. And so we need to know who in that cast of crazy, greedy um, daughters and sons are out to take his money. Um, there's grandkids, everybody seems to have an angle and everybody looks guilty except for one person who, anyway, you see as it unfolds. So I don't, I don't want to tell the rest of the story. But you're guessing all the way to the end. So you probably know where my recap is going with this. It's fantastic. There are very few movies like this that can do that type of complex plot. So I'm gonna give it number one, the plot. The plot is just so riveting. Um, you never know what's happening. Number two, the cast of characters. They all seem to have worked together for a long time. They, um, the, the fuel and the energy of them ad-libbing and going off of each other um, is just charismatic. And then the crowd, actually. I've never thought about the, the crowd, the audience here in Toronto as being part of the cast of characters, but they are actually. And there was time at the end of the show for a Q&A, and us Torontonians really know how to bring it out. Um, you can tell that the stars really, really enjoyed it. We had a lot of laughs. People were, they were gracious enough to take. The whole cast was up on stage. Um, and they were gracious enough to take a pile of questions from us. So a lot of cheers and hoops and um, haulers. This is, this is gonna win a lot of accolades, I think, for being um, just smartly, smartly written, sophisticated, and um, just a nice twist on the usual Agatha Christie type of story. So obviously two huge thumbs up for this one. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And don't forget, on Sunday, Sunday is our newsletter. If you're not subscribing, to Womanscape, please do, um, and check out all our YouTube videos on uh, WS Real Talk. All right, take care everyone. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.